Hi, I'm Jeff Bardo, and I'm from Thought. This module will summarize the high-level benefits of both SAN and wildcard certificates, which can help you choose the certificate that best fits your environment. Wildcard and SAN certificates can be a cost-effective and flexible alternative to traditional SSL certificates. Because they can secure multiple domains and subdomains with one certificate, they can significantly lower your SSL costs and simplify certificate installation, management, and deployment. But they are different, so let's review how their use cases differ. Do you need to provide SSL secured communications for servers using multiple domain names and subdomains? If so, you should consider a certificate enabled with Subject Alternative Names, or SAN, also known as a Unified Communication Certificate, or UC Certificate, from Thought. A good way of thinking about SAN is that it operates like a shortcut, or a nickname, referring to something else which operates by the same name. You may go by a nickname, but it's still the same you. SAN operates much under the same principle. For example, one SAN certificate can protect multiple subdomains, such as www.thought.com, or webmail.thought.com, or combinations of different subdomains and domain names, like mail.thought.com or mail.thought.de. You'll find SAN most useful when securing servers that go by multiple names, like a unified communication server. Also, if you require extended validation, you should choose SAN. Are you looking for a cost-effective way to secure one domain name and multiple subdomains with just one certificate? Then you should consider a Thought Wildcard certificate. In comparison to SAN, Wildcard secures only one domain name, for example, thought.com, and multiple subdomains using that same domain name, such as mail.thought.com or secure.thought.com. Each of these uses the same domain name, thought.com, and the Wildcard character will stand in the place of those subdomains. Wildcard is a standalone product and best used in environments where there is only one internal or external facing domain name. Wildcard offers an easy to manage approach since you can apply the same certificate across a number of servers using the same domain name. And because you can add, change, or replace services without needing to update the certificate, Wildcard can be the perfect choice for a growing business. As you choose which certificate best fits your organization, keep these things in mind. SAN cannot secure an unlimited number of subdomains on the same domain. Wildcard can. If you're using the same domain, such as thought.com, and that domain name never changes, Wildcard can be the answer for you. On the other hand, Wildcard cannot secure more than one domain. And if you need extended validation, you must use SAN. Let's summarize. Use Wildcard if you need to protect just one external and internal facing domain, multiple subdomains, and you don't need extended validation. Use SAN if you need to protect one server going by multiple common names, one server which mixes and matches subdomains and domain names, a Microsoft Exchange Server 2010 or other UC server environment, or you need to protect your site visitors with extended validation.